Greetings, brothers and sisters from around the world. Today, I and my colleagues, Ayrton Kohler, the Secretary of the General Conference, and Paul Douglas, our World Chief Financial Officer and Treasurer, would like to invite you to attend, either in person or online, the 61st General Conference session being held at the America's Center Convention Complex in St. Louis, Missouri. The session begins this Monday, June 6, and will finish on Sabbath, June 11. We hope you are being blessed by the 40 days of prayer leading up to the General Conference session and that you will continue to pray as more than 2,000 delegates from around the world will meet together in this very important business session. The session is the largest, most representative business meeting of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and yet it's so much more. It's a time together as a worldwide family to worship, pray, plan, and fellowship together. When the first general conference session was held in May 1863, 20 delegates met in a small wooden church in Battle Creek, Michigan. The delegates represented a few thousand Sabbath-keeping Advent believers, mainly from the Northeast and Midwestern regions of the United States. Today, we are a worldwide family of more than 21 million members, spread across 200 plus countries. We now hold general conference sessions in large stadiums and convention centers, where more than 2,500 voting delegates, along with tens of thousands of Seventh-day Adventists from around the world, gather for this quinquennial event. Now, while the venues have changed and the Adventist family has grown exponentially, the commitment to Christ, His mission, His last day message for a world in need, and the hope of Christ's soon return remain the constant focus of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This hope is embodied in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. It is this hope, this message, this mission, that drives us forward and informs every decision we make as a worldwide church family. Although we come from diverse cultures, languages, and backgrounds, we are connected, united together within the body of Christ through a higher calling, a higher purpose in the biblical mandate He has given to His prophetic remnant people to share his important message of love, especially as found in Revelation chapters 12 to 14. Following the biblical mandate to let all things be done decently and in order, we come together in an organized way with every part of the world church recognized and represented through voted delegates, each one given a voice and a vote. And while there are many aspects of this large quinquennial event, it is primarily a spiritual and business meeting of the World Church. During the meetings, world leaders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church are elected, and items affecting the entire church are prayerfully considered, discussed, and decided by these representative delegates from around the world. During the 61st General Conference session, we invite you whether you will be joining us in person in St. Louis or online to pray together for God's leading in a marvelous way as we move together in planning for His mission and in carrying out His business at this session. We can be assured that we have nothing to fear for the future except as we shall forget the way the Lord has led us and His teaching in our past history. Since this will be a hybrid general conference session, some of the delegates will be attending through electronic platforms such as Zoom. However, 
everyone is invited to watch the live stream of these important meetings by going to gcsession.org. Let's pray together for the outpouring of the latter rain of the Holy Spirit, anticipating the soon second coming of Jesus Christ as we move forward together through His power to reach millions for Him. Jesus is coming. Get involved. Let's pray together just now. Pastor Kohler. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to be part of your family in this earth. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of a group of people that are together praying for the Holy Spirit, for the unity, for the revival, and for the mission. And Father, as we come together this June, we hope to meet you there in St. Louis as members and delegates all gather for the business of the church, but also a fellowship with you. May we not only do business, but have an encounter with you that others, when they see us, can say, surely these people have been with Jesus. Lord, we invite you to be present with us through the Holy Spirit in the General Conference session in St. Louis, and yes, with your people around this globe as we recognize that time is short and that Jesus' return is imminent and that all of us must be involved in your work. So, Lord, we place ourselves in your care. We place the General Conference session in your hands and we ask that your will might be done in all things to bring glory to you and a finishing of your work so we can go home to be with you forever. In Jesus' name we ask it, amen.